Hey guys, welcome to the desk. Uh, I'm Dan Lehman. Anybody remember what weeks were? I don't know. Anyway, there's Puncher. Here are your news stories. Netflix is doing a reboot of Babysitter's Club starting in July. Um, to keep it relevant, they are wiping down each new babysitter with Clorox wipes. The man who sought trial by combat now wants his ex-wife evaluated psychologically. Unfortunately, he said this to a lamp. Detroit area residents are trying to lift spirits through parades instead of what usually cheers up Detroit area residents leaving Detroit. Bulging deficits now threaten Pentagon projects. Coincidentally, bulging deficits is what Melania calls Trump's penis. Broadway theaters will be closed at least until September 6th. I don't know, nothing set in stone. Something might kickball change. Mike Tyson prepares for a potential return, and when he makes his statement, I'm three-fourths years. Bears invade a cabin as the guests hide. They tried hiding in the basement and the living room, but the, the attic was just right. The office cast reunite, and it was epic. I didn't watch it, that's just what she said. Elon Musk defies orders and opens his California plant. Uh, not the only plant he's abused this quarantine. Fauci says the vaccine can happen in about a year, and he was so overjoyed his face left his palm. Exhaustion and uncertainty mark the coronavirus survivors' journeys. Coincidentally, exhaustion and uncertainties are on Nancy Pelosi's family crest. A mom is recreating popular children's books to explain the pandemic to children, and she even created one of her own, Why Mommy Needs a Drink Right Now. New York Times reporter got COVID-19 four times. Uh, it was all part of the research for a column, hey, what does this poll taste like? New York Times wrote a guide on pandemic scams and what not to fall for. Aw oh, man, you mean these penis pills I bought won't help with the coronavirus? Netflix dropped a filthy trailer for the new Jeffrey Epstein docuseries. I find it unfair that children don't get to watch it while he definitely watched them. The virus whistleblower says that the U.S. lacks a vaccine plan. Um, dude, I don't think you've been paying much attention. We don't have any plan. A UFC fighter said his teeth were falling out during a match. At least I think he said that. I don't know, because he was right. Tina Fey's daughter crashes an interview and calls her mom a loser, making her indeed a mean girl. Paul Simon praises an extraordinary version of Bridge Over Troubled Water done by healthcare workers. Of course, his Zoom call was on mute, so all you could hear was the sound of silence. Thousands are heading to Alaska's fishing towns, but so is the virus, all in this new season of The Deadliest Catch. Barack and Michelle Obama are reading to kids to give parents a break, while, fun fact, Trump is learning to read. U.S. retail sales have dropped a historic 16% in April. It's the first time a mannequin has filed for unemployment. A Hong Kong shop now offers tear gas flavored ice cream. It does go well with their lemon Tiananmen squares. The number of new coronavirus cases has gone down in 28 states. Unfortunately, in Wisconsin, that's only because they're running out of healthy people. A baby elephant at the Houston Zoo survived surgery and she's lucky to be alive because the surgeon was real. Dumbo. Pandas are returning to China after a bamboo shortage and unfortunately because the grizzly bears told them to go back where they came from. To the desk, I'm Dan Leitman. Stay safe, be healthy, wash your hands. I'll see you next week.